Beautiful, beautiful big flathead. If you see them feeding, it's a really good sign. Just got to appreciate these things. So I'm going to show you how I like to use this Crossfire 195. <laughs> That's why I thought it was a little flatty. Go, big girl. Well, I've come out this morning to catch this golden light. I love fishing these early mornings with a light breeze and there's some tide pushing in over these sand flats. We're coming into the right time of year to chase these flathead and I love doing it with surface lures. I'm going to show you how I like to use this Crossfire 195 on a spinning outfit over these flats. Get the technique right and it can be a lot of fun. Let's go and get after them. We've got a beautiful tide just pushing over this sand flat and into a big channel and there's a light breeze on the surface which I think really hides my approach. I'm hoping you're going to be able to pick this up as you look along, there's an edge along here, the sand flat, and the tide's sort of pushing along the edge here. And all I'm doing is really quietly just sneaking along the high side of this flat and I'm just casting my crossfire right onto the, onto the line where that that tide is getting picked up and throwing the water down onto that deeper side. And then it's very visual fishing. You can see the big flathead come up and smash it. But I'm just super quietly cruising along these flats and fishing in about, it's probably anywhere from one to about five foot of water. And I'm watching that crossfire come up to the surface, giving it time. It's, its flotation is super slow as it gets its way back up to the surface. And I think it's that fade or that time that you give it, that stall that the flathead just love to come and grab the lure at. They're really heavy, these things. This is a 195. And so it means you can throw it up against the wind and you can get a great big distance which I reckon helps with the bigger fish too, so you're not spooking them. And I'm positioning myself up on the shallow side this time because the water's pushing over the edge and I want to make sure that my lure is tracking right along that edge disturbance of the water. So it means that I can just work it, time it, slow it down or speed it up depending on how the water's moving and pushing my lure over this, this little gutter line. might be able to pick it up. You can sort of see it there. It's, it's a line where this sand is just running for a couple of hundred metres. And then the retrieve is pretty slow to be honest, but it's I'm using a, a medium to fast action rod. This is a Dobbins Fury Series 703 SF. So it's got a bit of stick about it. And it allows me, if I high stick the rod like that and fish it with the, with the tip right up high in the air, it pulls the crossfire out of the surface and lets it slop down on back onto the top of the water and the, the big flathead, they love it. But what you're trying to do is get that little disturbance and then just let it sit there and drift around on the edge. And I'm watching all the time, any little take or any swirl or anything, if there's something there that comes up, then I'll give it more time, little tweak tweaks on the surface and the big flathead love it. We'll keep going along this edge, see if we can pull one.
Messi got it right there in that water disturbance. Yes, and he just cartwheeled over the surface of it. Oh, it's a good fish. You little beauty. All right, so part of the game is just dropping your drag back once you get that hit. Because often it's, oh, there you go. <laughs> because often they don't hook really well. But uh, you, can, you can probably see the, the bank along the edge here. And I'm just drifting along the edge, throwing into it. It's a good fish. Oh man, these things are so much fun to fish with. Yeah, it's a great, great flathead. Oh, listen to that drag just fizzing along. Literally like stuck on the edge of this bank here. And uh, she's swimming off into the deeper stuff. God, this is good fun. I might just sort of bring you around here so you're not staring straight into the sun. And I reckon I'm going to bring this fish up, hopefully. If I, can, if I can get her in, I'm going to bring this one up one of these flats here. Uh, she's using the current really well to try and, uh, to try and jam me a little bit. Mate, the surface hit that, that they go at with these big crossfire lures is so cool. The way they just... Oh, man, I've got to give you a look at this thing. Oh, the hooks have just pulled out of it. I'm going to drop the, drop the encoder into the sand here. I might even just jump out and see if I can get a, get a glove on it. Oh, this is heaps, heaps of fun, man. Come down here and have a look at this. I'm grabbing my glove. Here she is. Ah, oh, what a fish. What a fish. Look at that. Awesome stuff. Taken on the back stingers. Just running like big assist hooks. Yes. Yeah, it's a bit dodgy doing it like this. You probably want to be a little bit more measured in the way that you grab these things, but I reckon if I can, here we go. You beauty. Take a look at that. What a fish, eh? <laughs> Jeez, they quick can clamp down on you. Beautiful, beautiful big flathead. Oh, stunning the way that they just crash these big crossfire lures. There is nothing like it, it's so addictive. I don't know if there's any better fishing on the flats down here. The action that you can get with these lures when you know what you're doing is just fabulous. They're cumbersome to start with, but you dial it in. God, they're effective on these bigger flathead. I'm gonna get this one off and throw it back in. What a fish. If you haven't seen Giant Flathead is in the Shallows, my DVD, it's a download as well. It's available as a download. I reckon I've caught some of the most incredible fishing footage with these crossfire lures that you're ever likely to see. You've got to get on it. I'll put it in the comments below. If, you, uh, if you're after it, the link will be there. definitely worth using a glove just protects the fish and I'm, I'm not just wrecking it hanging it with big grips I try to support it as much as I can this is just a cyclone glove from Bunnings but they've got they're sort of leather ended so they're good when the the flatty bites down and I can still feel the pressure of where it bit down on my thumb through the leather but uh, yeah it's definitely worth running with one of these oh there's a giant <laughs> Did you see that? <sighs> That's right up there, man. Right up there. Right in between the weeds. Oh, no. Missed the hook, eh? Hey? It's like a big 70 or bigger. It's about five foot of water there. Just in between this patchy weed off this drop off. Right in the right position.
position here. Well, these pelicans know what they're doing. They do it all day, every day for their entire life. They've got it pretty well dialed. There's, there's all the reason in the world to pay attention to the bird action and just their positioning even. Like they're just sitting here waiting. But during the day, you can see them feeding through this stuff. That was a big fish. The beauty of it is you can see it, eh? Like, I'm literally just watching my lure. It's the big part of the game with these crossfires is to watch your lure and be able to see the way that it's dancing. It's not as uniform and as repeatable in its action as uh, what you might get from a big walking lure, like a, like a big sugar pen. Um, so it's really important that you watch it and give it the time to come back up to the surface and settle, bounce around, find its rest point, its balance, and then move it on again. So I'm hoping you can pick up on the big splash that these crossfires have when they hit the surface. They're, they're a big, heavy lure. And I think that resembles a great big mullet smashing back down onto the surface. The big flathead, they love that stuff. They pay a lot of attention to the fish that are moving around on top. And I'll often just, when I cast it out, just leave it, let it sit there on the surface and pull the attention of those bigger fish in. And then start to work it with that high rod tip. All I'm using, it's like a 2500, just a Stratic with 10 pound and a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I like that heavier leader just for the uh, insurance of I'm not going to snap this thing off if I, if I get a wind knot or something. It just gives you a little bit extra insurance with a, uh, with a big lure and allows, if you, if you get a big flathead that takes it down head first, you might not lose him with his, uh, with his raspy teeth on that heavier leader, the fluorocarbon. You can see also the way that I've hooked it up. I've got assist hooks on the back and a nice, big, strong owner, super sharp, catchy hooks. That makes all the difference when you're getting these fish up top. And uh, if you haven't seen my flathead video, giant flathead in the shallows, then I go through in a lot more detail some of the techniques that are really effective on these big fish, big 80s and above, captured on that video. It's, uh, it's just an amazing piece of footage that it sort of it really helps just to see how you can do it and what to look for for those bigger fish and um, how to chase those, those bigger flathead and get them in the boat or get them alongside your kayak or up on a bank. Because once you hook it, that's when the real game does start and getting them in, there's a lot to it. So um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. But yeah, we'll keep going, see if we can get one of these fish. If you wanna know more about these uh, crossfire lures, take a look at some of my other videos or get in touch with me and I'll, I'll get back to you about how I like to fish them. I'll see you in the next video.